We don't read the Bible just in isolation, but as a part of a wider community of faith. It's important for preachers and teachers of Scripture today to be in touch with how the community of faith across time has read the Word of God. What can we learn from the Reformers about discipleship, about the life of prayer, about how we study the Bible, not just only academically, but also devotionally? Those are really important questions as we think about being faithful to Jesus Christ in our own day and time. The Reformation Commentary on Scripture is a new series of 16th century exegetical comment, 28 volumes in all covering the entire biblical canon, reflecting some of the wonderful richness of exegesis in the time of the Reformation. Dr. Scott Manich is the Associate General Editor of the RCS and he and I have worked together with some of the editorial staff at InterVarsity Press to select a superb cadre of Reformation scholars uh, to be the editors of this series. We can learn something uh, from this moment in history that will help us be more faithful believers, more faithful teachers and proclaimers of God's Word today. When we think about the reformers of the 16th century, we shouldn't imagine that they simply came at their task without an awareness of what had come before them, 1500 years of church tradition, of reading the fathers, of working through the great scholastic theologians. They were so well learned in that tradition. Now they wanted to cut fresh trenches back to the Holy Scriptures themselves, but they did that in company, in dialogue with those who had come before them, and especially with the early church fathers. We have a volume, a series of volumes called the Ancient Christian Commentary on Scripture. And this in a way is a sequel to that same series. Luther and Calvin are tremendous heroes of the 16th century, but they were not the only voices. And so we're concerned to bring in from the shadows, so to speak, some of those lesser known reformers, some of whose writings have never been translated until this project. I think we get to see a richness and a diversity of, of ideas and reflections, and those are the sorts of things that will help to renew us, particularly at a time when uh, we have in our own day so many questions about what is tradition, uh, what does it matter, uh, why should we bother reading anyone in the past. So what we're trying to do in this series is bring together the very best scholarship we can on the period of the Reformation, married with a commitment to the life of the church today, retrieved for the sake of renewal, the renewal of the church, the renewal of the body of Christ.